Welcome back. This is M Dog, and I'm going to take a quick look at some gameplay of Tale of Immortal, which is out now on Steam. English version available. Uh, I believe this would be a Chinese game, if I'm correct. I apologize if I'm not. Uh, it says published by Lightning Games, but developed and published by some Chinese characters, is what I believe that is. So, um,. This is an interesting one. I just kind of wanted to show some gameplay of this one. I, I have actually enjoyed it. I'm only an hour, hour and a half in. Uh, and it is a single player, as best I can tell, RPG. There's no multiplayer component that I'm aware of. Uh, it's a 2D game. Some of the systems in the game remind me of some of the, like older MMOs in a good way. The way you're sort of developing your character and, and creating a build and choosing skills and such. Uh, but the the artwork and the actual like interacting with the world and gameplay uh, combat uh, more in line with um, well with with uh, sort of a different types of games like a, uh, in some sense I could see it being compared to like a uh, Diablo type game uh, in the way that here I'll switch to this screen here so you can kind of see like when you're running around fighting stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got it's got some interesting stuff going on. I guess it falls into what's called a cultivation RPG. I think that specifically is referring to um, Chinese games. I think it's like the cultivation of your character. Is if I'm understanding that terminology, uh, yeah, it's even cultivation is even the description of the game. But it, when I was looking up this game people were referring to it as a cultivation RPG for what that's worth. Some Chinese mythology in there. I'm still, uh, let's, let's go ahead and switch to the actual game here. This is the over map where you're moving around. I'm still like understanding. In fact, even an hour, hour and a half in, I'm, I feel like I'm still kind of in the tutorial in some ways. Uh, you certainly get quests. So the storyline is easy to follow, uh, at least as easy as the translation is. Um, and, and, and it is quite deep. If you like the, um, um, you know, fairly deep, like lots of stuff to gather, uh, I believe it is going to have some crafting elements that I haven't really unlocked yet. Um, you know, I have a ring. I think that's the only piece of gear that I technically have equipped. Uh, it looks like a mount, outfits. Uh, these are like elixirs and artifacts. So I could go to elixirs here and potentially like even go ahead and equip these so that I could use them while I'm in combat. I haven't really needed to do that yet, but that's what that would be for. Lots of stats. I mean, if you look at your basic character here, um, a lot of this came out of the character creation process, which was really cool. Like the way that, the way you chose stuff. Although I'm so... Uh, new to this game or even this type of game potentially I it wasn't clear to me early on it's still not clear to me in some ways it's I guess more clear now than it was on what some of those decisions might imply this is where you equip your skills uh, you, you basically learn a new skill once you learn it you can equip it and then I think you start to level it up like oh we just took one off it should have been this one here um, like it looks like this one uh, let's see. Can we upgrade this? No. Comprehend. I'm not exactly sure what that means. But we need uh, comprehension sand to be able to do it. So anyway, I'm not going to stumble around. Again, there's still systems here that I don't fully understand. I just kind of wanted to show you. Like, So we haven't unlocked an ultimate skill. These are our martial skills. Uh, which go in this slot. So this is going to be our left click on our mouse. This is going to be, uh, what do they call these? The special skills. So this is going to be our right click. Uh, our movement skill. I don't actually know. I haven't used this one yet. I just learned this skill recently. Um, it's called the clouded tornado. So I don't, I don't know how the motion skill will work. Hopefully we'll find out in a minute. Um, but yeah, there is a lot going on and I, and I don't want to focus in on all of the systems and everything other than just to say they are present. They seem to be fairly in depth. Um, 
this is our mana. We're gonna go ahead and load up on mana so our next fight we can actually use our abilities. But um, yeah, <clears throat> it just seems really cool. So at this point, I'm gonna stop talking and what I'm gonna do is just mute myself, but actually just show you some gameplay. I'll just kind of keep the thing, the footage rolling for the next few minutes just so you can kind of see what this game looks like. I love the art style and I'm actually having a lot of fun with the gameplay and kind of the, the way it, it progresses, at least thus far. Uh, so I hope you enjoy, and uh, I'll, I'll be back at the end just to say goodbye, but thanks for watching.
All right, so there you go. There's a look at a uh, little gameplay. Um, I, I really enjoy it. Such a chill game, very fun. I like the uh, the combat is though very simple. It's it's cool to see how different skills impact the combat and what options you have. Um, I also like this is kind of the second sort of map I've been on since I started playing, and and they've kind of done the both the same thing in both maps. They've put you in front of a boss that seems like way overpowered and uh, it's hard to imagine being able to beat that boss but then it, it has you go off and do some other things continue to grow and develop as a character and then you know theoretically you get to a point where you are strong enough to defeat that boss and I, I, I presume that it, on some level the growth of your character and, and strength of your characters is really what the game will end up ultimately being about uh as they weave some sort of narrative throughout so uh, i'm enjoying it very chill cool experience but i like the systems as i'm starting to understand some of them and though this though the gameplay is fairly fairly simplistic i'm also enjoying that quite a bit so as always thanks for hanging out with me for a little while and i hope you've enjoyed this gameplay uh and again this is uh on steam right now tale of immortal it's actually on sale right now it's just September 2nd, and it's currently 15 20% off. To be fair, this is technically still an early access game, though from what I can tell, uh, there's already a ton of content here, and it looks like the updates, in fact, are more about um, just polishing things and adding stuff. I, I guess I do remember when I first created my character, uh, one of the choices you had was choosing like a starting artifact and of the three artifacts only one of them was currently in the game so I guess I've seen examples uh, a couple of examples of still content that's yet to come but it seems like most of the game at least from what I can tell has already been has been developed so uh, all right as always I will see you next time peace out